Hey there. Ombre Namor by Louis Vuitton is a very popular fragrance in the fragrant community or in the fragrance community. Everybody likes the fragrance and some of them just hate the fragrance for its DNA. It's a very masculine rose oud combo but done very very differently. So you know welcome to the perfume experience. My name is Rodney and today we are going to talk about three alternatives that we have in India which are available for us to buy in for uh, the alt of Ombre Namor by Louis Vuitton and we are going to test these three alts and figure out how good they are and figure out how different they are from each other and which is probably more closer to the OG and which makes more value for money so that's what you're going to see in this particular video and if this is the type of content that you would like to watch please hit the like button and subscribe and let's get started right after this introduction So welcome back. So um, Louis Vuitton's Ombre Namart can be uh, defined as uh, ambery, rosy, oud, smoky, uh, you know, incense kind of a fragrance with a little bit of tartness and a little bit of uh, floral elements to it as well. But, uh, you know, if you really smell the particular fragrance, uh, you will kind of, you know, very distinctly get a rose, oud, leathery vibe to it with a lot of incense smoky element to it as well and that's something that you know you can't uh, you know take away and that's the dominant uh, scent profile and that's what makes it so dark masculine you know amazingly good so while most rosewood uh, you know combos are uh, either too sweet or you know vanilla type or something like that this is so very very different because of that incense note with saffron birch and uh, uh, you know a lot of flower notes it's got raspberry as well but right at the top it will ta uh, start with oud incense rose saffron birch and all of that and a little bit of you know uh, uh, raspberry but having said all of that right it, it makes you think that how different is this particular rose oud combo because in this particular fragrance the dominant thing that i said is the incense part and the incense with the rose and the rose is not this jammy sweet rose it's more dark masculine you know uh, you know very very different kind of a rose as well so that is what makes this fragrance so you know beautiful now at the same time while that is so very good in one way this is the same dna that is not liked by a lot of people so this particular fragrance is not for everybody definitely right it is for somebody who is uh, you know very uh, confident in what you wear it is for somebody who is complicated it is for somebody who is very confident in carrying what you want to do uh, think about yourself wearing a dark suit and a black shirt and a black tie and everything black and you walking to a party or you know going to a, a meeting that's uh, you know where you're going to be the boss type so that's the kind of fragrance this is it's a very very uh, strong fragrance that appeals like crazy right now even in terms of performance of this particular og the, uh, the og performs really really well a loud beast and you know you do a few sprays and you're good right now uh, my introduction to this particular fragrance happened through uh, forbidden practice from the house of essentedelic right now this look at the juice color on this one this was my first time when i actually you know uh, did a, a blind buy of this particular partial uh, from one of the fellow fragrance and uh, this is when i first sniffed it and i was thinking like wow this is something crazy now this is really really nice as well now very very nice fragrance good performance on this one it's a beast mode performance lasts for eight hours now the thing about omre namor any alt that you take it lasting is not a problem performance is not a problem at all you will easily get two to three feet of projection uh, the first one hour one and a half hours easily it will project and lasting six to eight hours easy it can last beyond eight hours as well so the lasting performance is not a problem it's a given that you get a beast mode performance okay so take that into consideration now for the like i said for the longest time i have always been wowed by this particular fragrance i always thought this was really good in terms of how oh, the uh, Ombre Namor OG smells like and all of that right now so I've been I've in fact done a reel for this as well because this was really really good then at one point of time I did get to experience uh, Al Maham's uh, you know uh, Ombre Namor Alt and this uh, I felt was slightly um, different different in a very good way which is it was more airy and it was more sharper and the incense note and the rose note and the oud was a perfect blend whereas i felt s case was a little more leaning towards the uh, rose blend okay so it's it's got more of that rose and little lighter on the incense part i felt okay when you compare it with the og now this i sniffed and this has been my go-to fragrance that i've always had in my bag for the longest time that i can recall wherever i've traveled i've always had this as a evening scent with me so when I was in Dubai, that's when I actually got an opportunity to go to Louis Vuitton store two times on the way back and on the way forward as well. So both the times I went to Louis Vuitton store, I tried a lot of fragrances. One of them was Omre Namort from there. And 
one thing that i could distinctly you know register or rather my mind automatically registered the scent profile to almahams and not to scentedelics okay for some reason the mind registered the scent profile as that and that's when i realized that almaham scent uh, of omre namad is very close to the og as is and in terms of the profile the opening and all of that luckily at that point of time i also had a decant with me so i did try one later as well uh, so i could kind of you know identify which was which right now so that is uh, the story behind how almaham is closed and then there is very popular which is the albate one okay so albate uh, you know omre namad is very popular among the community as well and i did try yesterday and a couple of days before as well and i've got another five six samples from the albate house which i'm trying to test and when i posted this a lot of the people were asking can you try uh, you know letting us know which one is closer right now i don't have the og sample like i usually do but uh, you know i am trying to get that and do a full comparison uh, as well because i also know indian houses like musna also apparently has a very very good ombre namad old and i also know afia also has got a very good one so i'm trying to see if i can get those as well but at least i will try and get uh, musna in, in the due course of time when i get the og as well but uh, overall when i went when i compared albate as well one of the nicest thing is this also is very very good very beautiful very loud very nice in terms of the scent profile and it's also very close to the og in terms of signature right now uh, so this is also very good right now all three are good now individually if i were to look at all three are excellent fragrances they stand uh, on their own and you know each of them is a beast by then now while i differentiate why what i can clearly say is this is leaning more towards rose and lesser towards incense so that's why i would say uh, escapes would be number 3 the two really tight ones are between albate and this okay now you can get uh, either one but what i would say is from a really good uh, signature and the quality of the fragrance i would say almahams is uh, edging uh, albate one by a little okay by a, a slight margin i would say the quality of the fragrance is slightly better here and the airiness that you get and the you know the overall scent profile is really really nice in almaham and i know that fragrance who actually own the og also say that this is very close to the og right now albate one everything is good no doubt about it it is just that it feels a little lighter slightly like very slightly lighter okay and um and at the price point okay so that is the only thing i think i would say that you know where there could be a slight difference between albate and uh, you know almaham this is slightly better in quality compared to this right now in terms of price point i would say that i think sk uh, you know this goes for about uh, 1777 for about uh, 50 ml uh, i think that's the facebook price or so Uh, it can go a little more higher i think on the website so you know this is what you get for 50 ml now uh, almahams is i think 2000 rupees for 50 ml and i think after sales discount or during the sale part i think you should be able to get it for 1750 or so or you know 1800 ball pack and i think uh, albate uh, i think you get a larger volume i think you get a 88 ml of volume and i think you get that about for 2000 rupees roughly right so that is where the price point stands and the volume stands right so you can definitely decide you know which one is more suited uh, suited for you in terms of your budget and what's, what's the volume that you kind of carry on this but if i were to tell you among the three which is more closer to the og i will say hands down almaham is more closer to the og thoroughly because of the lightness that it carries in the air okay and uh, the way my mind registered the og with this okay so that is where i would say between the three i would say almaham is closer but definitely like i said there's a price uh, difference uh, you know so this is 1777 approximately for 50 ml and i think this is about 88 ml for about 2000 and this is 50 ml for about 2000 again so that is where i think these uh, alts are standing individually they are fantastic fragrances you can hands down take any of them and you will really be not be able to tell a lot of difference in the air but when you sniff up close is where you might find slight variances between the fragrances and that's what was my thought about this uh three oils of omre namad i'm also trying to see if i can get mason alhambras as well to really do a comparison full out but uh, getting the og uh, you know decant has been a little bit tougher but if you somebody can know you know pass a decant i would be very happy to try and get that og as well to do a full fledged og comparison between the three right so that has been my very quick review to say that these are three very good alternatives of uh, louis vuitton's omre namad and you can really get any one of them but then if you really think if you want to get a very close one I would say you can pick Alma Arms Omre Namad, which is really really good. Or second best would be to go with Albate One, which is really good as well, right? So if you like the kind of content that I bring, please hit the like button and subscribe, and do share your thoughts about what do you like more, and do let me know what are the videos that you'd like to watch further ahead. And thank you for watching. My name is Rodney. You're watching the Perfume Experience. Take care.